Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. This is Buckeye Traveler, and I'm Adam Bush. Um, I'm going to continue on the discussion I did on the last uh, video, which, if you haven't seen, you can see right here. Um, it was a two part question about traveling in the wintertime. Uh, the first part was traveling down uh, for traveling down south uh, for the winter months and what where people go I've gotten some uh, response from it uh, uh, and I was very interested in the responses uh, I want to dive more into those in another episode but for this one I'm gonna go on the second half of the question which is geared towards people who do RV in the northern climates during the winter months uh, where there is snow and ice. Uh, not saying that you do it every season, but for those who have at least done it, maybe you have some tips on how to do that. Uh, because, again, I, we are very new to this. Uh, so new we don't even have it yet. Uh, we are very interested in learning this stuff uh, because I know for a fact that we will RV at some point during the winter months in the northern climate where there is snow. And I want to know the tips. Now granted, keep this in mind that we will be traveling with a fifth wheel toy hauler. So it won't be a class C motorhome or class A. It's going to be a fifth wheel. So there will be towing involved. Um, so I guess my question in this episode is for people who have done it, when should you get to a destination like, I guess, uh, say for, for an example, say we, we decided that we we're going to um, stay for however many months in, like, I want to say Colorado, Montana. Just throwing those two states out there uh, how soon should you should we get up to a uh, to a state or to a destination before it gets too bad um, I know it's going very greatly on where it is um, so that's a that's a concern of mine and uh, to what should one do to their rig um, you know, the water pipes uh, and propane stuff before, you know, before all that. How do we winterize it to live in it, basically? So pipes don't freeze, nothing. I know you can't prevent everything, but I'd like to know some of the tips that you have. I know there's lots of them out there, so I'd like to hear. Um, in conclusion of this one, I would. I want to hear what the tips are on, on um, and I will be publishing you know, or putting out a uh, another uh, video on the responses I get from these two episodes to kind of throw them out there for other people who might be interested in knowing this stuff. And uh, so, but any tips that you can give on winter RVing would be greatly appreciated. Uh, this is something I'm kind of looking forward to doing. I mean, I know it's going to be, I'm going to be very intimidated at first, but even though we live in Ohio, it's very rare that we get a white Christmas. And uh, it does happen occasionally, but it, I honestly couldn't even remember the last white Christmas we actually had here. Um, so, I mean, and I love the snow. I've always love the snow and I, 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 I've always thought it would be neat to be somewhere out in like Montana or Colorado during Christmas season and just to see all the snow and all the mountains and just to experience it once at least once um, and you never know we might do it so I never again are we doing this but I want to at least try it once so I love to know all the tips and know the end know the ins and outs I know there's no way I can know everything there's no way anyone can know everything I, I know it, every day is a learning process 
such as his life, but this is just one of those topics that, you know, I'm curious in, and with it becoming winter right now, I'm, it gets more in my mind, uh, because today I woke up, I had thick frost on the, on my truck, and I was like, man, it's just cold, I, I couldn't picture being in an RV, and that I've never have been in an RV in, you know, in 20 degree weather so I was like man I wonder how these people do it and what are their tips and tricks I mean I've heard one thing about putting a bubble wrap on the windows how do you do that I mean I've heard of wrapping up electrical uh, heat tape on all your pipes but there's you know do you do the, all your pipe you know, you know or just certain sections of your pipe you know, just I just I know there's a lot of tips out there, and I just want to know what it is for when RVing. I'm sure there's a lot of new RVers or you know out there that would love to know these tips too. Even for you veterans out there, at what point are you traveling and it's snow, and you get to that point where it's like, uh, we ain't doing this. So you know, I want to know how everyone is. I mean, everyone's got different comfort levels and experience and skill levels, so just curious to know so happy thanksgiving enjoy all your plentiful food hope you all have a wonderful holiday and like the video hit the thumbs up please subscribe if you're not already and share it and i will see you in the next video have a good one